we'll start out uh we'll start out with tim may tim thank you hey luke uh, you know on a day like today when there's so many people out there uh i'm performing much less watching you and stuff what what did you go in with the mindset of how to get people's attention you know what i mean uh, what was sort of your uh your plan in that regard and uh did you get done today what you thought you would yeah i really just had to do what i knew i was capable of i mean no place like ohio state to prep you for that kind of pressure so yeah it was really just like approaching a game and just do what you know you can do and i, I was happy with with the result all righty next uh next up we'll go to joey kaufman joey luke had a, had a question about uh the, the current team and, and and kind of Cade Stover actually um he's uh coaches have kind of mentioned there without with you leaving they're kind of looking at him or some other guys for, for the number kind of a second tight end to, to pair with Jeremy what's what have you seen from Cade working with him last year or just kind of what's kind of key for for a young guy to to get in on the field at Ohio State yeah Cade's Cade's a beast and I think you'll find that out here soon but it, I think it was tough him adjusting coming over from defense but I think he's you know more than capable than that fill in that spot and um yeah I'm excited for him for sure to see what he's he's gonna do all right next up Dan Hope 11 Warriors Dan hey Luke uh Kevin Wilson said a couple weeks ago he had talked to NFL scouts and they thought you're the best blocking tight end in the draft but did you feel today like you needed to show what you could do as a receiver I think that was part of it just to, uh, you know, show my versatility and um, really, like I said, just what I'm capable of in, in the past game. And, you know, I agree. I, I think I'm the best blocking tight end in the draft, and I think I'm more than capable in the past game and have, have showed, you know, by capitalizing on the opportunities I got. But, yeah, I think I showed that today. All righty, next up, uh, we'll go to Austin Ward. Austin. Luke, you talked about Ohio State sort of getting you ready for the pressure of something like today. Uh, and you guys have watched Justin for two years. There would be a lot of attention on him. That means a lot of attention for you guys. What was it like to be out there? He was kind of showing off, it seemed, a little bit at times with his arm. What, what did you see from him? What impressed you guys on the other end of those throws? I mean, yeah, it was a great experience. And, I mean, he just makes it easy, really. You know, if you're in your spot when you're supposed to be there, he's going to put it on you. So, yeah, that was great. And, you know, I think he's going to be incredibly successful wherever he ends up. Thanks, man. All righty, next we'll go to um, Bill Rabinowitz, dispatch. Bill. Hi, Luke. Uh, throughout your Ohio State career, you were kind of overshadowed, never seemed to bother you at all. You just kind of were a good team guy. Uh, you know, with the draft, it seems like kind of the same thing's happening again. Do you take, I don't know if offense is the word, or, or does that give you extra motivation? How do you kind of approach that? I uh, try not to take offense to it. I mean, I understand my value at the next level, and I think a lot of coaches and, and GMs understand that as well. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be flashy, but I know I can, you know, do what they ask me to do and at a high level. Thank you. Yep. All right, I've got time for a couple more for Luke. Uh, we'll go to Patrick Murphy. Patrick. <laughs> Luke, when you get the chance to, to catch passes from Justin, you know everyone's watching those. How much does that, you know, give you extra, I don't know if motivation is the right word, but you know all eyes are on that drill at that time. Yeah, it's definitely nice, I mean, to have the extra eyes on you and that that attention from, you know, they're, they're giving him and definitely letting them see, you know, my receiving capabilities from through him, which is nice. So, yeah, just great experience having him here. All righty, and final question for Luca before we bring in Drew Christman will be Michael Kinder. Michael. Hey, Luke, uh, what have you been working on most to prepare for this day? And what do the next couple of weeks look like for you? I uh, really did a lot of preparing. About, I mean, everything, you know, the uh, speed and strength stuff's big for, you know, prepping for pro day and, and the bench and everything. Um, but I also got, you know, a lot of time and attention on on skill work. I was, I was doing three days a week of route stuff and a couple of days um, down there blocking stuff with Duke Mannyweather, who's you know, like an O-line guru. So. Got some really great uh, skill work down there as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Luke, for your time. Really appreciate it.